Hello. Hello, my friends. This is Linda Nagel, Independent Creative Memories Advisor with Creative Memories. And I just want to show you a few little things that we can do with the new Zebra Stripe uh, Border Maker cartridge that just came out. And um, I'm not going to go over how to, use, how to use the system because I've done that on other videos. But with this, you use the cartridge holder and then the paper holder. And of course, let me just bring out a page here really quick. The most obvious thing that you can do with the zebra stripe paper is make a zebra stripe. Make a border. That's your most simplest thing that you can do with this cartridge. Love the little, um, I don't know, it's, it's just pretty, the different squiggles and things like that. And of course, then when you punch it out, it gives you the best little confetti. But there are other things of, that you can do with this. You can also turn this into a fringe. And I used some paper from the last secret box that came out. And I thought it reminded me of a beach towel. And how I did this is, so I punched it out as I normally would and then I cut off the edge, which I'll show you how I did that in with the next piece of paper. But uh, if you don't think, well, I don't ever go to the zoo, what do I need zoo paper for, or zoo, a zoo cartridge? Um, but you don't have to think of it as a zoo, you can think of that as um, animal prints. If you like animal prints with your clothing, your hats, um, just some fun things. Your child's room could be a mess and it just, you know, it just looks like a zoo with what they were playing with all day. So you can play up on that theme. But turning it into a fringe opens it up to so many more um, possibilities. So this was one, turning it into a beach towel gives you plenty of room to add all of your pictures, but a great simple um, way to start. And the other thing, doing the same thing with making the fringe, is this paper is from the new What A Zoo designer paper pack. On the back of it is, oh, look at that, zebra stripe. But I thought this looked like a little thatched roof, and I did the same process, and I will walk you through this one. Um, made it like the little grass coming off of a thatched roof, and down here in the corner, this is one of the punch outs. So I kind of put that down there to kind of finish it off. But I will show you how we did this one. Very simple. Here's the other half of the paper I used to make that. Load it into the paper holder. And punch just the way you would any other border. Walk it down, it clicks right in, into the spot. Here's all your fun fetti left that was left over. All right, take it out of here and pull out your 12 inch trimmer. And when we do this, we just want to cut off this edge here and on my cutting mat here's the cutting line so I'm going to line up I just want to be able to see that cutting line the dotted line right underneath right through the fringe so when I cut that off now you have the fun fringe so how did I cut the angle? All right, our trimmer has the 45 degree line. So I want to line my paper up on that 45 degree line. And what I did was I kind of, again, here's my cutting line on here, just sort of cut that last fringe. So I would get all of that last one. So again, line up your paper on the 45. I want to make sure that I'm keeping the last fringe. It's going to cut right here. 
So I wanna keep make sure that fringe stays intact. Move it up just a little bit more. All right, so I'll go ahead and cut this. You can save this triangle for later. To, now, if you wanna do what I did, make the mistake on my first try, I just was like, oh, okay. Put this here at 45, cut it here. That just gives me another triangle. I need it to be this big out here. In order to do that, you have to flip your paper over and now you're gonna line this point. It's kind of hard to see with this black and white paper. Here's my cutting line. So you want this point on the cutting line and the rest of the paper on the 45. And then you will go ahead and cut that up. And there is our corner for our paper. So you can add this in here. That makes a cute little design. And again, pull up one of your little fun fetties if you don't like the way that ends put it here and put this here kind of I think finishes that off really nicely so just some little basics you don't have to think of the zebra stripe as simply a zebra stripe here I have a fin fringe on what I think looks like a um, thatched roof and then I also did the beach towel for you which was very simple so this was from the last secret box this paper here is from the what a zoo 2 designer paper pack so i hope you like just a little bit of ideas of what you can do with the zebra stripe border maker cartridge other than making a border stripe or a zebra stripe border all right have a great day